Fellas, AC here. Welcome to another review. Now today I'm going to talk about a fragrance which is a challenging niche fragrance. It's called Unutamam by Nishani. This fragrance gets a lot of criticism because it scares people off. But before I get into it, let me start off, start off the review with a scenario. Imagine a person who is quite reserved and quite muscular quite scary and you have to engage with him because of whatever reasons so you start engaging with that person and he is very standoffish is very aloof he wouldn't give you an inch but once you win his trust later on he turns out to be one of the nicest person still deadly still lethal if you cross him but nicest person and great company and this is what Ulutamam is all about. Ulutamam initially scares you. But when you don't relent, when you don't give up, and you keep on persisting with the fragrance, it actually relents and it shows a side which is fabulous. This fragrance is absolutely amazing. Provided you like some of the notes that I'm going to mention. It's a green fragrance and it has a very warm heart and it's a very chocolatey base. It's a stunner. So, let's start. This was released in uh, 2019. Uh, Parfumer is Miguel Matos. He's very, very popular on Fragrantica, writes some amazing articles. This is the first time I'm reviewing his work. And um, this fragrance is part of the experimentation line by Nishani, if I'm not mistaken. And if you ask me, they have really succeeded with this. I and mean, they were trying to do something really um, out of the box, kind of a really you know, blue sky thinking kind of a scenario. And they've really succeeded. So let's start. I've already got to dry down, but I want to show you one thing. Look at the spray. It's a beautiful atomizer for such a strong fragrance. And it's a good thing that I've, I've uh, sort of, you know, sprayed at the top of my wrist. As you can see, it is golden green in color so i would advise you not to spray it on your white shirt or any expensive coats and jackets Whew. once when he first sprayed it is scary it is this is ooh. this is not for the faint of heart it is massively camphorous okay it's waxy and it's got huge amounts of oregano extremely heavy quantity and mixed with that oregano is mint mint is what makes it camphorous and it's waxy uh, maybe rosemary rosemary has a waxy side and then lavender Whoa. and mixed with that lavender is juniper berry so you can see uh, oodles and oodles of spices and herbs in here so it's lush and green it's beautiful, yeah. But you have to like these notes. And mixed in all of that is this amazingly scintillating note of chocolate patchouli and, ooh, and caramel. It's very, very strong and really persistent and muscular. That's why I'm going to call it, it is for the Mavericks. Okay? And what a fabulous change happens in about 15 minutes. When it settles down, you have patchouli, the chocolatey patchouli, the note of caramel and chocolatey amber that you must have smelt in many places, many fragrances. They mix together with those green notes, the waxy and the camphorous notes and oregano, the strong, beautiful herbal oregano. And they create absolute magic on your wrist. It's so good. It smells, smells absolutely stunning. And then there's the note of castorium, which people are worried about. It doesn't smell animalic or fecal or not that so strong. Uh, not that at all. There's nothing. All the castorium is doing is giving it that depth, the multicolored depth. The whole experience is 3D and there are many layers and castorium is just bringing the best out of them with labdanum. That's the another fantastic note here with oak moss 
So it's green, it's warm, it's chocolatey, it's caramelly. I'm hoping I'm describing the whole sensation to you. It's not a scent, it's a sensation. It just tickles all your senses and you're, you know, it, it takes you on a trip. Lovely fragrance, really good. So upsides and downsides. Upsides first. This kind of work is what you pay good money for, is what you pay niche fragrance money for. This is what you want from niche perfumery. You want good quality, highly creative and sensational experience. It really arouses you and you think, wow, this is what I'm paying money for. Number one. Number two, this fragrance is for those people who have got lots of experience with herbal green fougeres, with animalic scents. This is not animalic, but they understand the whole concept. You have to be able to get it. If you don't get it, you'll be scared by it. Right? Those are the two positives for me. Yeah, it's a very creative sense and it's been created for people who are aficionados, who are people in the know. Downsides. Obviously, this will not get you a compliment. Yeah, this will this is a statement maker. Let me get this very clear. I've done it myself. I've worn into office, I've worn into situations where I've completely imposed myself on people because of this. Obviously, my personality, if I want to, I can. But this is a statement maker. It is not for compliments. So that's the number one downside. People might think, oh, I'm spending so much money. I should be getting a compliment. You might get a compliment. You might not get a compliment. But that's not the purpose of the scent. Number two, this is not for beginners. You know, some people, some beginners might think, oh, I'll just go and, be, I like fougeres, I'll go and buy this. Test it out. If you like it, definitely go for it. But don't just go and blind buy it. This is not blind, blind buy friendly. Okay. Now, um, age groups, I would say 30, 35 plus. That's the right age group. Where to wear this? This is the big question. Where do you wear this? I want it to office. I want it when I'm walking out and about in the nature because this is a natural scent. It smells green and wonderful and lush. But the question, the big question with this fragrance would be, when do you wear this? Um, seasons, I would say in between weather. I've tested it in winter. This smells the best in in between weather. Autumn and spring, um, value for money. Okay, 30 ml extract. This is an extract de parfum. 30 ml extract is gonna cost you between 90 and 150, depends on where you go and buy it from. So if you get it for 90, very good value for money, right? Three pounds an ml. 150, too much. Five pounds an ml, too much for a fragrance that is gonna sit on your desk or on your dresser for a long time. So too much money if you're paying more than three pounds an ml. Um, I think I've covered all aspects. The scent is fabulous. The creativity is out there. One of the best, most creative fragrances I've smelled in recent times. Marks out of 10, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. Difficult to wear, difficult to think, as in where do I wear this, when do I wear this? But when it comes to the creativity, the depth, the actual scent is outstanding, top notch. 8 out of 10. Hope you enjoy the review, fellas. Take care. Bye-bye.